The Minnesota Vikings have had a very, and I'm talking very unlucky offseason up to this point in time, right? We've suffered a couple injuries already, one being Makai Blackman uh, out for this season with a torn ACL, the tragic passing of Kyrie Jackson uh, at, late earlier in July, right? And then there's been some other things happening with Minnesota, but we just suffered yet another Pretty big injury, a massive injury, as some might say, because who knows, this guy could have potentially started week one against the New York Giants. That, however, is now not going to be the case. Some might say the Vikings are cursed. I'm not saying that because I don't think that that can actually happen. I think this is just a very unlucky year. Last year, we got pretty, uh, we were pretty unlucky as well. But I mean, there's been years where we've been completely healthy and just haven't put out the right team. I don't think we're cursed. I think it's just luck, right? And, well, luck isn't on the Vikings' side. So let's get right into it. Yesterday, we learned that J.J. McCarthy uh, was dealing with a little bit of uncomfortable situation. So the Vikings went out and tweeted, and we all saw this late last night. Head coach Kevin O'Connell announces that quarterback J.J. McCarthy has knee soreness and will not participate in Monday night's practice, which is in front of a whole big crowd where you get to showcase the team in front of the fans and stuff like that. It's a great night, okay? It's a fantastic night. But hearing that, you're like, okay, well, hopefully everything's okay. He's being held out of practice, which basically probably means, hey, he's going to go get all these tests done and make sure nothing serious is happening. So I think most of us at that time pushed it to the wayside, not thinking really anything would come of the situation, and he'd be back on the field quicker than you knew it. And then just a couple hours ago, we learned, per Adam Schefter, Ian Rapport, Tom Pelissero, basically all the insiders, well, as Adam Schefter tweeted some breaking news, the Vikings' first-round draft pick, J.J. McCarthy, is expected to undergo knee surgery that will determine how much time he will be sidelined. McCarthy complained about knee soreness over the weekend and underwent an MRI on Monday night. Oh, boy. The Vikings are in trouble. I think everyone said that immediately. Everyone's jaw dropped and said, are you kidding me? Like, this can't be, this can't be happening right now. Our first-round draft pick potentially going to be the franchise quarterback is going to have knee surgery? Like, on, on what? What's happening? Well, it turns out he has a torn or a partially torn meniscus, and they got to go in there and clean that up, which means he's going to need surgery, whether that's uh, a complete repair or whether that's just taking some stuff out and minding your own business. But Ian Rapport basically said that as with most meniscus surgeries, there will be a determination made during the procedure to either trim the meniscus or completely repair the meniscus. The trim would mean he's only out for a few weeks, about four to six, maybe eight weeks, depending on how his rehab goes and stuff like that. But the repair would be many months. We're talking four to six months, okay? Four to six weeks or four to six months. It's a big timeline, which also means if that is if it's a complete repair, we're going to miss J.J. McCarthy basically this entire season, right? He's out. We're talking, what is it, August right now? So... End of August, we got September, October, November, December, January, February. So we can, at least we could be seeing him in February. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, that's right. That's when the Super Bowl is played. That's the latest we'd probably see him. So there's no chance J.J. McCarthy would play this year if that was the case. Now, if it's just a trim, it's a different story. He could only be missing about a month and a half. We could see him in the middle of October starting to take practice reps again, starting to get back into the groove of things. Potentially, you know, if... Sam Darnold's seat is hot at the starting quarterback position. Maybe J.J. can come and take over. But the matter of the fact is, it happens. You hate injuries. This, these things happen, right? And it's a bummer that it happened for our first-round draft pick, J.J. McCarthy. But we all knew from the get-go, Sam Darnold was going to be quarterback one for the Minnesota Vikings. This just solidifies it. Like, that, it's just plain and simple, okay? J.J. had a chance to win the job. It's a very unfortunate situation. I don't like it at all. It actually bummed me out quite a bit. Okay, and I'm sure it bummed a lot of you guys out as well. I know a lot of them have a lot of you guys have high hopes, but I don't think this is anything to worry about. It's only a meniscus tear. It's not the end of the world. You know, it's not like an ACL where he's definitely going to miss the whole season. There's at least a chance we could see some more action or some more JJ McCarthy action this season, but don't expect it anytime soon. It sucks. Um but you'd rather it be a meniscus than any other injury, like an ACL where maybe, or an Achilles where he comes back and he's just not the same J.J. McCarthy he was when he first 
was drafted by the Minnesota Vikings. So I think we just have to, you know, take a step back and realize things happen. And we just got to believe in the Sam Donald era, right? We're going to ride on the coattails of Sam Donald for the rest of the season, or at least the next month and a half, whatever the case may be. But JJ McCarthy has to go under or has to undergo knee surgery, could be out four or to six weeks or four to six months. So that sucks. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be much, much appreciated. Have a great rest of your night, folks. And Skull Bikes.